A story you'll only see here on News 5. There's a new sculpture of two giant fish constructed from wire suspended high in the air at the Plaza of the Rockies in downtown Colorado Springs. The third installation by sculptor Byung Du Moon and following so much positive feedback from the community, the artist moved his family from Korea to Colorado Springs. Our John McMichael has a story. This is not the first piece that you have made for Colorado Springs. So he's saying this is actually a third of his work done for Colorado Springs. For Beyond Do Moon, an art on the streets regular, the work is about taking imagination and putting it to wire. This is the wire he had to cut to make these pieces and it weighs like 160 kilograms. Each wire welded and line placed is a boundary, something the artist hopes will allow people to see things differently. He said he want to create the boundary between the things we experience and the imagina our imagination. For this work, over a year in the making, now suspended dozens of feet off the ground, the story is about fish sharing the water, people sharing the air, everything, everyone sharing this world together. He hoped people to feel that they are sharing the water and the air with the environments and world around us. While this piece isn't the first and certainly not the last, it is the beginning of this artist's tenure in Colorado after moving from Korea. So the saga of how this amazing artist came to be creating work in our community really is a special story. His first downtown installation, the deer with antlers like a tree, got amazing feedback. The next year, Byung-do submitted another work and when he came to install that one, brought his entire family along. What he said to us then was, we're actually scoping this out. That work, regrettably, had a piece stolen by vandals, prompting a tide of letters from the springs to the artist, expressing sadness, love for the work, and a hope that the act wouldn't keep him away. He said at the time, this, this really means a lot to me. I've never had people tell me about the impact their work has had on their own lives. He moved a lot because of the letter, the, the people sent to him. It was really touching. Postscript there being vandals returned the piece, Beyond Doom Moon fixed it up, and now this artist and his family are situated here. He said he cannot wait to go next step and do the next artwork. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, John McMichael, News 5. John, thanks. By the way, he's already planning his first solo exhibit to be hosted in Colorado Springs. He has plans to create more pieces inspired by what he has seen, learned, and experienced in our state so far.